Welcome to another in our series of key diagram videos. We take a topic and look at an essential diagram to help score top marks for analysis. In this video, we'll take a look at economies of scale and profit. Now, internal economies of scale are the, the reduction, the fall in long run average cost, cost per unit, as the scale of production increases. And one key reason is that large-scale production in construction, in beer making, in car manufacturing and so on often uses fewer inputs per unit of output. So the efficiency of production goes up, hence leading to a fall in unit cost. And internal, when we say internal economies of scale, what we mean there is the growth of the firm itself as it scales up production. Now, economies of scale can have powerful effects uh, both for consumers and also for producers. And we're going to focus on the latter in this video. So let's take a, an analysis diagram where initially the costs of production, MC1, AC1, might be quite high, certainly relative to the demand curve and the margin revenue curve as shown here. Indeed, if production at that scale has high unit cost, then a profit maximising firm will make a loss where MR meets MC at output Q1, draw up to the demand curve to show the price P1, but the unit cost is C1. So at that output Q1, they're charging a price P1, but their unit costs, their average costs are actually higher, leading to a loss, an economic loss, shown by the green shaded area. And oftentimes firms that are operating perhaps at a low scale of production, they might be new entrants in the market, they will have higher costs because they haven't yet achieved the internal economies of scale. But what happens if we keep the same demand curve, the same average and marginal revenue curves, but the firm is able to exploit significant economies of scale? Well, it could be the case they can move on to much lower unit cost curves at a higher scale of production. Don't forget the x-axis is showing the scale of output. So AC1 might fall to AC2. Now the scale of production possible has gone up uh, and uh, you can see here that there's clearly a downward trend in unit cost. Let's put the marginal cost in there as well. MC2 goes with AC2. Now again, a profit maximizing firm would produce output Q2 where MC meets MR. Take it up to the demand curve to show the price. They can charge price P2. So you can see here straight away that economies of scale lead to a fall in the profit maximizing price from P1 to P2. But of course, the unit cost has come down. And at Q2, there's the average cost C2. Now, hopefully you can see here that the achievement of economies of scale in production has led to a significant fall in the average cost, C1 dropping to C2. And as a result, the firm is now able to make a, an economic or supernormal profit shown by the green shaded area because they've achieved economies of scale. Now, this is an important diagram. Economies of scale can allow firms to move from, to move from loss to profit by dint of the efficiency gains and the other benefits that come with different economies of scale. The long average cost curve, the envelope curve, tries to envelop the path of unit cost as output goes up. And you can see here, moving from AC1 to AC2 involves moving down the long run average cost curve. Hence, internal economies of scale. I hope that was useful. If it was, please press like and maybe subscribe as well. Thanks for joining in. Take care and see you soon.